Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers and we're continuing our playthrough of Kirby Star Allies. Why is the word meat highlighted? I don't know, why do they highlight all these random words? Well, should we visit the Dream Palace? Yes. Shall I become a dream friend? Yes, we'll see which of the many, many options we now have before it was just Bandanity. Speaking of Bandanity, there's... Hold on. Uh... Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna zoom in. This on. is the dream palace. I'm gonna you zoom can in a on a dream dr character. Drizzle's face there because it's a dream rod. The sight of a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab the dream rod. I love how you can't even choose. It's a roulette. Well, it goes so slow you kind of can. So I'm gonna shut my eyes. Yeah, shut your eyes. Okay. Let's see who gets chosen. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> have I hit it? I have all the power. No, not yet. There's also a lot of characters you don't have access to at the moment, actually. Oh, was there? Yeah. You, you didn't have access to anyone from Wave 2 or Wave 3. That's weird. I think because you've unlocked the first Dream Palace. You know? Oh, so we have to unlock the other. That's, that's cool. I'm glad they fought for that. <laughs> well, I'm going. Oh. oh, hello, Dream. Ah! <laughs> uh, I love how they added more of the stone sort of uh, thing. So. I've got stone. I've got water. <laughs> Taranzo and the flower. I wish my girlfriend wasn't dead. <laughs> Uh, I've got my tongue, which I believe... Yeah, my tongue is a water move. Well, they they weren't going to fit into uh, his whole um, being able to copy all the powers. But it's cool how they've done it. You know, he's basically smashed. Fire. I mean, he is basically... You could... The best thing is that Kirby Star Allies, and kind of the update I would love, given Ooh. they did make Kirby Fighters, I would love if they just basically added a Smash Brothers mode to Kirby, uh, to Kirby Star Allies. Oh, yeah, you know, that's how I do it. And the then Kirby I get my Fighters. Death lasers. So you can have all the characters fighting into one another. I mean, yeah, Kirby's at a huge disadvantage compared to everyone else. I mean, heck, they had to patch King Diddy, Mayor Knight, and Bandanity just to make him as good as the other at Star yeah, Allies. Yeah, they added, like, one technique to each of them. Because, uh. I think two to King Diddy. King Diddy can, like,. Do a belly flop to slide across areas. Yeah. And he just hits hard. Matt and I've got a counter, which pretty much guarantees a kill on anything you hit. Mm. Like, it takes off a large chunk of the boss's health. Why, dogs? Oops. Uh, that's okay. Just, uh, flying about. Oh yeah, I can't. Oh, fair enough. Thank you. Don't worry, we got fire. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to just leet him so I can grab his power. Um, I don't think I can. I think it's what called Y down is the unfair oh, okay. button. But Deep gosh, dogs, what's wrong with you today? I think you have to scrap your ability first. Okay, well I need a fire guy. Well, I can set fire to the yo-yo. Yeah, unfriend. Okay, there we go. You're gonna have to hold up. That's not. That is not. <laughs> that is water. I keep pressing B to jump. Okay. <laughs> There we go. That's a normal picture. <laughs> then you should be able to. Yeah. yeah, there we go. They are surprised, scarily smart. Look at Gooey. He is not smart. <laughs> yeah, wow. honestly, Kirby Stylus has made some of the best AI in a video game. Kind of too good. Yeah, that's can, actually what makes it so easy. You can just sit and watch your AI allies kill everything. Like, if you had an AI of a normal game, it wouldn't be so much of a problem because the AI would be stupid. Also, this maybe doesn't help. Yeah. <laughs> I am the destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Which isn't... Did he just use his tongue to open that door? What else is he going to do? He's got no hands! I don't know. Um... See, what were we talking about just uh, now? I don't know. Uh, well, there was, uh, the last subject we were talking about was, of course, the Nintendo game situation I'm in. Where basically I've not got really any games. 
um, of you know, none of my series I enjoy are getting new entries and yeah, series I have enjoyed have had entries I haven't enjoyed right, lately. So Kirby is the you know that one consistently good one, and everyone wants it to change. Um. Congrats, guys. I think I count as a whip. They are no real point, really. I mean, we've got Yo-Yo here already in the whip. Yeah, because the whip can also grab stuff for those. Oh, yeah, that is true. But I think my tongue does that. You probably. Oh, yeah, speaking of tongue, weirdly enough. That's a weird... Um... I would, Why uh, have you forsaken me, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going are we to gonna watch him die. Yes, we are. Good. I was going to um, because even get in that situation. Little Hurricane was uh, looking at character uh, uh, through the Pokedex thing and pointing out Pokemon he liked the look of. Unfortunately, one of those is Drowsy because he laughs at the sight of the elephant every time. Um, Drowsy is a friend to the children. <laughs> But one of them that sort of like uh, he showed interest in was Lickitung, because you know it's a big tongue guy. Yeah. Um. But what I was gonna do is uh, sort of for him is I was going to um, use the crystal version I have and trade across. Um, And trade across a lick tongue from the crystal version, so it's a lower level. Yeah. Because the slow row one, it doesn't have lick. Yeah. And I thought that'd be a cool sort of unique thing to do. Uh, unfortunately, it turns out my crystal version save data is corrupted. Oh no. Um, but to be fair, that's the case with all of them, I believe. Because yeah, like the battery. The batteries are dying. Dead. So I'm wondering if the crystal version's corruption is actually the battery dying rather than, you know, it being corrupted, corrupted. It's like. Wasn't well, there a huge issue with gold, silver, and crystal? Yes. Because there's so much data. They're all dead now. Yeah, but it's the day and night cycle. The yeah. day and night cycle is tied to their uh, save file. Ruby and Sapphire can have the day and night cycle go off on it as well, but yeah, that makes, doesn't that uh, doesn't affect the save data. Some Pokemon are uncatchable because of the Shell Cave situation. And as well as uh, Mirage Island. Yeah. I guess I'm just destroyed. I've looked up how to actually Ooh, sort God. that sort of thing out. And aside from basically having to get a battery for it, uh, we could actually pretty much, like, I'm pretty sure Dad just has everything that we need to actually fix it in the garage. Pretty much, but it can also damage it. Yeah, but like I've seen online ways to actually replace it. Yeah. Yay. Um. Um. Yeah, weird topic. To bring up, given I don't usually bring it up, um, yeah. this sort of thing, and I'll explain why I'm bringing it up now, um, at the end of it. I saw a video by someone who worked to Traveller's Tales, Yeah. and their video was on cancelled Lego games. Wow, we got no stars. Yay. And um, the first one uh, that they mentioned was... Um, an Indiana Jones Lego game. Yeah. Except that actually did end up happening. But they originally pitched the Indiana Jones game and it wasn't approved. But then later on they had the Crystal Skull come out. Yeah. So they were like, oh, well, now's a perfect time to release the Indiana game, Jones game. It didn't make sense before. One, you focusing on Star Wars at first. But now that it's relevant, you might as well do that idea you had. Yeah. But like they actually had like a pitch demo sort of thing, you know, sort of beta a bit of the original one. And it differed, you know, ever so slightly. Because, of course, then they had the later Lego Star Wars games that they'd already built upon. Yeah. Um, but another one, because they mentioned uh, uh, Lego Indiana Jones, and gosh darn, this would have been amazing. Um, they actually went and asked if they could make the f official crossover of Lego Indiana Jones and Lego Tomb Raider. Oh, that would have been amazing. They were originally going to cross over. But then uh, Tomb Raider got bought out by Square... You know, I believe uh, the Crystal Dynamics got bought out by Square Enix. Mm. And they started making the reboot Tomb Raider. Mm. So that never ended up coming to fruition. 
That's a shame. Um, Would well, have been a good way to promote Reboot Tomb Raider as well. Mm. Uh, extra Eclair. I do love being able to access the extra stages. Um, I do like the food theme they seem to go over. Like. I like the alliteration theme. I like food. Um, Add but to the third the one. Weapon. The third one. Why it never happened? Just furthers. Well, if you're so insistent, there we go. What? Oh. What do you mean about me being insistent? No, the the burning Leo. He was gonna go kill the ninja. Oh. So I said, well, now you're gonna be the ninja. Some weird twisted thing. <laughs> Man, I wish they brought back Beast. Beast, Beast was really cool. I, well, okay. Sorry, Ninja. <laughs> sorry, Bias Park. You're not getting much luck, guy. Uh, then again, I wish they had Bubble instead of Water. Oh, but... I do. I do love Water, so I'm quite happy with Water. But Bubble worked well for the. Uh, well, the thing is, I really like the Squeak Squad mechanic. I'm surprised none of the other DS games did that. I just really like Squeak Squad. Which people generally consider one of the weakest. Well, they're wrong, and they can shut up. I believe it's the bottom one. Oh well, yeah, I assume all the arrows pointing to are an indication of that. Yeah. Also, I've done it so often I can kind of remember it. <clears throat> um, uh, but the other one that they were going to work on, they were originally going to make, they had like a little trailer pitch for it. It looked awesome, but then... They couldn't because the new movies coming out were going more mature and gritty and serious. So a Lego game just wouldn't fit with the brand. There was going to be a Lego James Bond game. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. And it started amazing. off with James Bond and then you had uh, Objob's oh, hat fly in. Yeah, it's up top somewhere. Yeah, up here. Ninja, do your job. Um, love how you can speed through it was nice. But yeah, because the Daniel Craig James Bond movie, though, the sort of like uh, Casino Royale was about to come out, and because it was going to be a more serious Bond, they dropped the idea. The, um, you know, the James Bond team were like, no, you can't do that. Well, that's dumb. So it's... Like, I wasn't a big fan of James Bond because as a kid, you know, there's, there were sex scenes in it, sort of thing. I mean, obviously, it's like the most like child friendly sex scenes of all time really nowadays when you look at it nowadays but well yeah but Game of Thrones exists so mm. I guess I'm here now I guess you are um you know it's not really anything that raunchy nowadays but <coughs> oh, uh, what I did always enjoy was the co you know the the tone of the James Bond Series, you know, stuff like Ob Job and Jaws and all that. And so the Casino Royale ones are just like James Bond without personality. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't help that Daniel Craig, as an actor, kind of hates his no... role as James Bond. Yeah. Um, which kind of shows. That's another ability I wish Dead brought back magic. That would be nice. Because, like, it was one of those abilities that when They it... should bring back Bull. Not because it's good or anything, but just because it's funny. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but they gave High Jump more abilities. That is true. Um, I think if I could bring back one ability... i got to say, I do like how each of the characters are... Like, most of the Dream Friends are, like, combinations of abilities. Yeah, they are. Um, I mean, exception Gooey here, he is Smash. He's well, just straight up smash. I can just do whatever I want. <gasps> pain! That's not pain! That is not pain! <laughs> I did not jump high enough. Oh. Uh, we do we need hammer? I I am a hammer. I'm a rock, I guess. That's true. Okay, you went from a monkey to this Pain. character. Whatever species draws you are, I guess. Yeah. I like that game. 
Um, I uh, wasn't a fan of that one. Like, I'm surprised at how much I liked, um, was it Rainbow Cruise? Rainbow, sorry, Rainbow, Rainbow Paintbrush. Curse. Um, because Power Paintbrush was the first one, Rainbow Paintbrush. I'm surprised at how much I liked Rainbow Paintbrush. Um, given that I wasn't a fan of Power Paintbrush, but I think Co-op helped it a lot. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Daniel Craig goes yeah. about, you know, and then it goes about ruining even the games of James Bond. If I could bring back one ability, just one, from any Kirby game. Raw teamwork! Do you know what one I'd oh, bring Oh wow, back? we had to wow. hit that same! That's weird. <laughs> Do you know what ability I'd bring back? Why did you capture it? It's literally recording. Yeah, but I wanted to fail my Switch. I'd bring back Missile. <laughs> but hear me out. Missile. If I brought back Missile, I'd combine it with a uh, double bomb from 64. Okay. Because that had missiles. Oh, the... Yeah, the... Like, uh, yeah. And then combine it with fireworks as well. So, like, if you hold up and B, you do, like, the fireworks. Psh, psh, psh. Just, like, holding B, standard, you do, like, the rockets that home in. And then you could have a, like... Do forward be or whatever to turn into the missile. At this point, there's not much of a theming with this game's abilities. Like triple deluxe and uh, oh, that's the ability I'd probably want back most of all. Bell. I loved Bell. I liked Circus because it was awkward, <clears throat> and I seemed to have a great amount of joy in picking uh, awkward abilities. Like Bird Wing in the first game was horribly awkward because nine times out of ten you would injure yourself. Do we do the fast pass straight away? Sure. Well, as in, like, I mean, I can't remember if we do straight away. I gotta say, I would like for the next Kirby game to do levels like they did in the demo, where it was really length, where it felt um, very lengthy and varied. Yeah. Because I thought that's how this game was gonna be, but no, it's like they threw tons of little clips together. But I like the idea of them, you know, maybe a story reason to explain why of mashing up tons of different environments all at once. Well, that's kind of how the. Um... Because I, like, uh, I liked how I was friend modes is yeah I'd like that as like a as like part of the story mode sort of thing yeah um you could part, use it as part of the plot I guess to be fair the friend mode basically is an mm. extension to the story mode mm. but yeah like with the powers like triple deluxe and uh, planet Robobot had the new powers they introduced fiend yeah um with uh, triple deluxe being based around fairy tales and a more light light hearted sort of theme like that. So you had Bell, Circus, Le uh, what was the other one? It wasn't Leaf. Um, I thought Cir was Circus introduced in Triple Deluxe? Triple Deluxe, yeah. It was Bell, Circus, and one other. I can't remember off the top of my head. Because I know it was in Robobot as well. Yeah, Robobot, Robobot introduced... Um, well, it reintroduced ESP. Jet. Introduced uh, ESP. Yeah, it reintroduced Jet, so Jet isn't in this game. Oh, uh, the ice for now. Oh, actually, you don't see any movement. Nah, let's go through this. I'll switch up powers eventually. What's my... What? <laughs> Dan, if you go fire with this, this is so easy. So let's, uh... Fire and Umbrella just destroyed Ball Whispy Woods, so... Let's give him a fair chance. Oh, you want to do the up thing? I don't know what mine is. Okay, she's painting the fridge for us. No, this, no, my. I think people jump into it. Oh, throw! Oh, that looks wrong. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. This was like Doctor Poison and um, ESP for Planet Robobot. Yeah, Poison was. But like Staff, it. Spider, and. Um. Staff, spider... Paint! Paint. Was there another? There's also celebration. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Like, there, there's not Parade. much of a theme about it. But I suppose that was completely different from what everyone else was doing. But I'm glad you at least got it in sync. Um... Yep, and once again we continue the time-honored tradition of being up Wispy Woods. They should have made him one of the star allies. Or a Wispy Junior. That'd have been awesome. Oh, tree would be a cool power. Well, we have leaf. Yeah, so Wispy Woods could have just been... They could have just thrown in Wispy Woods as like a leaf character. There's a lot of abilities in Kirby. 
There are. And I don't know why they've never kept them somewhat consistent. Well, they kind of have, but haven't. Well, I think they kind of just put some in just to... Well, they obviously think of new ones just to give it more variation. Yeah. But, but even at the time where it's, like, kind of pointless because there's already existing abilities. Yeah, because it's, like, poison was basically water, but worse. Mm. I mean, it's a unique thing, but most enemies die in one hit anyway. It's only really good against bosses. Yeah, and even then it's not that good. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's... Uh... Bye. Second episode, so cheerio!